is definitely feeling like chilly weather. And sponsoring our segment today from Evergreen Place Assisted Living with details on their upcoming Socktober Chili Dinner. Director Jamie Beck is back with us. Jamie, good to see you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so before we learn all about the fun event that you have coming up, mm -hmm. let's kind of remind everybody about Evergreen Place and sure. what you guys are all about. Sure, so we are a traditional assisted living. Many of our residents do live there very independently, but when and if needed, we are able to provide um, bathing services, dressing, grooming, uh, medication reminders, medication management. Everyone gets to enjoy three meals a day. All of our um, engaging activities that provide awesome socialization for our seniors, um, transportation, we're pet friendly. We just have this very warm, inviting, welcoming, home-like atmosphere for seniors to call home. And you're having a fun event where people yes. can even help them feel even cozier. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. So tell me a little bit about Socktober, your so, chili dinner event. Yes. So we have partnered with the Vineyard Church and WBGL, along with many other um, businesses and churches as well. But the Vineyard came up with this idea for Socktober to collect socks the whole month of October. So it's October. Perfect. Um, surprisingly, the number one, actually I shouldn't say surprisingly, um, the number one most needed item in homeless shelters is socks. I think you, you can't say surprisingly. I'd never occurred to me, yeah. but it makes sense. You know, we donate our clothes that don't fit anymore. We donate household items that we don't use, but at my house, you either lose your sock or you wear it till it has holes in it. Exactly. So you're not gonna donate those. So our um, goal as a collective group, um, everyone that's participating in this is 10,000 pairs of socks the month of October. Um, cold weather's coming, it's chilly season. So our way that we wanna help is we're gonna invite the community in to Evergreen Place for chili next Thursday, the 19th. Um, you come eat chili, just bring a pair of socks. Um, we're asking for an RSVP by Tuesday, um, the 17th. And just in a, a great opportunity to come see Evergreen Place, get chili, help the community uh, to be a blessing this season as yeah. the cold weather's coming. Exactly, a great opportunity to serve others who may be a little um, less fortunate exactly. as, as yourself. Okay, can we talk about chili really quickly? Sure. Because yes. um, some people say chili has no beans, some people say chili has beans. What's your take? Okay, definitely beans. <laughs> definitely beans. So we're, we're, we'll have red traditional chili with beans and white chicken chili. Okay. that also has beans so <laughs> <laughs> so we're keeping it authentic. we're gonna have beans yes. there you go well it's gonna be a great opportunity yes. not only to serve but to come get a good bowl of chili and um, help make a difference all right for those people um, who may be on the fence on mm -hmm. where they are looking and considering for a loved one sure. um, why evergreen place it's home um, I think our staff are like family that then we take care of your family and we become this really big family in a home-like atmosphere. It, it just feels like home when I go to work. I know our residents feel at home as they stay there and their loved ones know that they're being taken care of. Yeah, and that's important to families too. Priceless. Because it's a very hard decision and can be a difficult transition, but yeah. that sounds like it People would make, make it the difference. Easy. Absolutely. Okay, RSVP by Tuesday. Yes, please. Because we got to have enough beans and that's yeah. really okay. <laughs> and if you want to learn a little bit more about Socktober, um, their chili dinner happening there at Evergreen Place, all to make a difference for those um, to keep their little toesies warm this coming winter season. We'll have all that information at caliving.tv. And we do appreciate Evergreen Place Assisted Living for sponsoring our time today.